Welcome to Love Them Knives. Deadbolt system. Flavio Icoma design. The seismic. Also a Flavio Icoma design. Wow, what a locking system. Actually, I got to meet Flavio Icoma at the CRKT booth at the 2019 SHOT Show in Vegas. It was great. He had just, oh man, I think, I can't remember how many hours, 16, 17, 18 hours uh, travel time airplane. I mean, you know, he's coming up from Brazil and came up with a buddy of his who helps him out in his shop this and that. Really great guys. Flavio sat down. He had his own little CRKT tool. Took it apart. Showed me the deadbolt system. I'll show it to you. Here you go. <laughs> this this is the lazy man's way of doing this. You know, instead of taking everything apart, showing it to you like he did to me. <sighs> CRKT already did the spread. So the deadbolt lock system is his design as well as, of course, this thing's got... IKBS bearings on it, which he designed as well. I mean, that's his invention as well. So you've got the IKBS bearings here, and then you've got this deadbolt thing where when the blade opens, this baby pops through, two bolts come through here. Two pins come through all the way through. The one lower one goes through here, and into this, this one goes all the way through. So I think they're uneven as far as the total length goes. But I mean, they they were had video where, yeah, I mean, his assistant, which is a younger guy, was uh, had the they had the knife clamped away uh, at the at top of the at the ceiling of the room, and he went up and he just hung on on the handle, just was doing pull-ups on the handle uh that's amazing because i can't do pull-ups on a handle like this <laughs> no i mean that's amazing because the bra the blade the lock did not give away and uh, i think they were talking i mean one of the crkt reps was saying oh wow we i mean we put a tremendous amount of weight on this whole thing and what happened is the the blade broke i mean just the blade snapped be, the lock didn't give away. So if you're looking for a lock mechanism that's going to be secure, you might want to consider the deadbolt. This baby is not coming uh, loose in your hands. Uh, this one is tough. And of course, the triad lock is cold steel. And uh, this is incredibly strong as well. Incredibly strong two different knives, two different locking systems, but definitely both are incredibly strong and uh, powerful. So no worries with that. This is interesting because what they're tr also saying here is when you disengage a lot of knives, you're, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so let's take this one, let's grab. So you're, you're putting your finger across the blade path, right? You're disengaging things. Here, you're not. Even though subconsciously I'm like a Pavlov's dog. I've done this so many times, disengaging a liner lock or a frame lock. I'm still fumbling for it. I probably will do it during this review sometime. But you don't need to. Push the button. Pushes these pins back away instead of where they are. Pushes them out releases the whole thing so you could just flip it on down ikbs open push the button flip it on down your fingers are out of the way they're not in the path middle finger flick thumb stud not a problem flipper tab not a problem right there now <sighs> detent. 
four point i mean three is the weakest i've ever tested seven is the strongest i've ever tested i'm gonna say this is a four point something it's uh, i'm not usually able to throw out knives quite this easy so this is maybe a 4.2 just pretty easy now on the other hand you know just normal activity this is not going to come open in your pocket but another way to deploy the knife with a lot of authority and once it's open you're good and this is a big knife this is a big dog I mean, I can't hardly keep it in camera right here. Uh, not nine and a half inches, but we're trying to get there, aren't we? 23, not quite 24, but let's call it 24 uh, centimeters. Four inch blade. That'd be 99 to 100, 100 millimeters, maybe 101. 102. Uh, got this forward choil area, so sharpening and also place to kind of come forward for more, you know, cutting control. Relatively sharp out of the box. Comes in a CRKT box. What a surprise. The seismic. Not giving them away considering it's not exactly, uh... Super Steel, it's the 1.4116, that's a German steel, and I keep thinking, I, if I can remember it, if, if, if I'm wrong, I'll put something down here, but I think it's more like a 440 equivalent uh, from Germany, here you go, there's your stats, 3.69 inch blade length no maybe cutting length but that's a four inch blade my friends 55 to 56 hrc is their advertised but we send it in for testing yes we did and what are the test results 55 Whew. they made it though they made it in the zone that they were calling for and here's the one four one one six yes it's real Here's your elemental printout if you want to see how much chromium and, and other materials are in this steel. There's some vanadium apparently, that kind of thing. So you can look that over, get your own ideas of what you think this steel is more similar to, but $120. I mean, wow. Uh, that's some money. Now... How thick is the blade stock? And can we get to it? Yeah, we can. Uh, come on, baby. Yeah, it's going to be close to 4.147. Okay, 3.75. Uh, pretty much six tenths of an inch. 15.2 millimeters. So, yeah, it fills the hands up. Actually... The ergos are not bad here. Come up here. Not bad either, but they're pretty good back in here. That flipper tab. Not too restrictive on your contact here, but it does what flipper tabs do. Yeah. Nice and grippy, G10. Aluminum backspacer, see that? It's not magnetic, and it's metal, so I'm assuming it's aluminum. You can put lanyard cord through there, whatever. Pocket clip, really small. Deep carry, but wow. I guess you can go right or left hand. Um, and I, I've carried this once or twice. I can't remember right off if I thought it. I think... I think I slid it in my pocket thinking this is not going to be adequate in it and it, but it was it seemed okay. Look inside. They've done a lot of weight relieving here. Skeletonize the scales. And of course, 
you not have a liner lock or anything going on there but you got a lot of structural integrity here with this knife it is a tough knife big long tough metal backspacer and those thick steel liners and what does that equal what do you think i'm gonna say it's more than 2.8 ounces anybody oh man Okay, yeah, it's not real light, is it? 181, but I mean, we're talking about about nine and a half inch knife overall. So, 181 grams. Ah, 6.4. Eh, not the end of the world. I was thinking it might be 7 plus. Still pretty heavy dog. But a big dog. Big, big dog. Next, recon one. But now we're talking. These guys are just about equivalent. I think this one may just edge it a little bit, but they are really, really close. And it, it that perspective here, change the look here. Yeah, see, they're they're pretty much the same size. Interesting stable mates, though, when you think about it, right? Two very famous uh, lockup systems are this one, not so much uh, because it's so new. Flavio was saying the good thing about this system is it's scalable. You can make small knives, big knives, however you want, but you can still use this kind of locking mechanism. So it's usable, and obviously, it's going to be available. To when they do these things, uh, like when Ken Onion does his field strip technology uh, with the home front, that kind of thing. And then when you, the IKBS and then this, this uh, Deadbolt, these are going to be available to the other collaborators and designers that are collaborating with CRKT. They share this among themselves in this under the CRKT name. So let's wait and see who else comes out with something some other design uh using this deadbolt system because the deadbolt system itself yes i like this knife in particular is not as inspirational as actually uh as you know, the carn effects is probably my favorite icoma the sampa was really good the fossil i really liked and this one is Probably my least favorite of his designs overall. It's just something about it. This cutaway and uh, just don't know that I'm feeling it. I mean, the ergos are fine. It's a big, huge knife and it's a big, heavy knife. And, you know, the Carnifex is a lot less expensive than this too. The blade design, the shape is not anything particularly... Mm, appealing to me. I wanted to get it because it's really important about the deadbolt system. Plus, I like so many of his designs. So I think it's a significant knife that needs to be on my channel. But as far as lust factor, nothing. Nothing there. All right. It was a pleasure to meet Flavio. Great guy. Uh, his uh, assistant, and I forgot his name, but he was really cool too. Had a great time with all of them. Ken Onion, Richard Rogers, etc. What can I say? We do love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.